Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to replace your high pressure fuel pump uh, on the 2017 Ford Fusion Sport with the XDI 35 pump. Alright, so first step when you open the hood, what you're going to want to do is there's a 10 millimeter uh, bolt here and there's a 10 millimeter nut here. You're going to take both of those off and then the engine cover just comes right off. The next step, you're going to want to uh, loosen this clamp here and loosen this clamp here on the intake hose. Uh, that way you can remove your, your intake. Like so. Alright, so what you're going to want to do now, uh, this is an aftermarket intake. Uh, yours might be stock. Uh, they're both pretty easy to remove. There's one 7mm bolt here and one 7 millimeter bolt here. So you take both those out. Obviously we already removed those. Uh, and then you just disconnect this clip. Uh, if you have trouble with it, make sure you push in of the whole connector. Push in, push down, and then pull out. That's the easiest way to do it. Don't just try and push it in and pull it out. Uh, be careful of the sensor. It is sensitive. Uh, and then you undo this guy right here. Uh, make sure that it's off completely. And the box just comes right out like that. Next step is remove this 10 millimeter bolt. We're going to loosen this clamp down here that holds the charge pipe on. Um, it's best to have a ratchet that has a swivel head and it's a 7 millimeter socket. So to get this clamp loose, uh, what I'm doing is I'm putting my left hand uh, on the back of the ratchet head and then I'm turning it with my other hand down here. Um, to get the clamp loose. And so to make it easier next time you have this apart or if you have to take it apart, I'm just going to flip the clamp around so that next time it'll be super easy to get to. So this part's a little bit of a, a, a tough job. Um, if you can get the ratchet back there, uh, see what I'm doing here is I'm just basically moving it with one finger, loosening it here. Uh, what you want to do here is you're going to take your standard flat pliers and they kind of lock so once you once you clamp them it locks then you can wiggle it off and then you're going to want to remove the blow off pipe or the recirculation pipe from the charge pipe now just to get this out of the way, we're going to remove this vacuum line. Alright, restart. So we went ahead and removed the this vacuum tube here. Um, it is on there because it's got a barb. Uh, it's It did rip on us. We're just going to cut it short. But uh, it might rip on you because it's on there pretty hard. Um, I find it's best to use kind of like a dish soap and water solution and a spray bottle. Uh, it helps kind of loosen things up to get the hoses off. Okay, so uh, next step, we're going to remove this uh, hose holder. You don't have to have fancy pliers like this, but it helps. Next step is releasing this, uh, this retaining clip here. You push in push the green clip in and then you pull out like that. So Tyler's got an aftermarket blow off valve here. Um, with, whether or not you have stock or, or just uh, an aftermarket blow off valve, you want to disconnect the electrical connector for it. Uh, so now we're going to remove the low pressure line from the stock high pressure fuel pump. We stuffed the rag down there to soak up any excess fuel that might come out. Uh, it's this little white connector down here, uh, the clip, and what you want to do is on the back side of it, there's two tabs. Uh, you can probably see it right there, that tab right there. We're going to push them both in and unlock it like that. See how it's unlocked? And now it will come off easy, so you want to be ready. Make sure you wear eye protection, it's a good idea. like that. Alright. 
All right, so now that we have uh, the charge pipe loose, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide it over the radiator hose like that. So now it's 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 loose in the where the air box normally goes. Did you do? Uh, and then you go to the back of the hose pipe, I should say. And you lift it over those uh, heater core lines back there. This is why we removed this earlier, because this would have gotten damaged uh, had we left it on there. Uh, and then the pipe should slide out of the way. Uh, so it's recommended that you cap off this line just to keep any kind of debris out of the stock pump. Uh, and then we're going to remove the cover, the, the foam noise canceling cover. Uh, so again, we're going we're gonna to put a rag around the, the fuel fitting so that if anything spills out, we can kind of catch some of it. You're going to use your 17 millimeter open end wrench. I'm just going to loosen the fitting. And you want to do this while the line is, or the pump is still attached to the engine, because if you try and unbolt the pump, the pump will move around and you won't get as much leverage on the nut. Just like that. And now we're gonna remove the fuel rail side. I'm just gonna loosen that up. So now we're going to take a deep 13 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Uh, there's one nut here, one nut there. Uh, we're going to loosen them both. The key here is to loosen them uh, back and forth. You're going to do one side about a quarter turn. And then the other side about a quarter turn. And you're going to go back and forth. So now you got both the nuts loosened, uh, you can go ahead and just remove the stock pump. And then we're going to go down here oops, uh, and release the electrical connector. And then you've got your stock fuel pump off the vehicle. All right, so now we're going to remove uh, both of these studs, these torques. You're going to want to use an E7 torx bit so uh, it's important that you remove this clip uh, it makes that a lot easier to remove that stud there so now we're going to install the high pressure fuel pump you want to make sure your gasket uh, is on on the bottom all right, so now it's time to install the XDI high pressure fuel pump. Uh, we've got the bolts in there already. Uh, they're self-centering. They should stick in there without falling out. And then you've got your uh, your gasket here, your O-ring. You want to make sure that's installed before you put the pump on, obviously. Um, now you want to make sure you keep the caps on during the installation. Just keep any debris out. So what you're going to do is you're going to clock it so that the bolts Alright, so now that we've tightened down our M8 uh, socket head cap screws, that's an M6 
hex head. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tighten down these quarter 20 bolts, both of these. They're a uh, 3 16 head. You're going to want to do just a quarter turn on each side, uh, alternating back and forth. All right, so now we're going to install the high pressure line from the rail to the pump. Okay, so now it's time to install the high pressure fuel line that goes from the pump to the fuel rail. Uh, what you're going to want to do is tighten down the net that goes on the fuel rail. Just like a quarter turn so it's snug. to go just a little bit that way. So we're just gonna use our wrench. Just bend it to where it needs to be. Right about there. Alright so now your wrench is actually gonna be stuck on the line. So what you're gonna do is loosen your nut again, so you can remove your, your wrench that you're using to bend the line. Okay, so I've put the line back on with the wrench off of it. Uh, you want to make sure that you can tighten the nut all the way down with your fingers. Don't use a wrench to tighten it down. If it's not going, there's something wrong. you got to make sure that it seats just by finger. So I actually had to bend the wrench this way, straight up, so that you're bending the line towards the back of the car. And now it lines up nice and flush with the outlet. Okay, so now we're going to take the, the wiring adapter, the pigtail here, and we're going to attach it to the factory plug for the high pressure fuel pump. And then we're going to take the other end and uh, just connect it to your XDI high pressure fuel pump. It just clicks in, make sure it's snug. Yeah. Alright, so this is the last step. Uh, all you got to do is remove the protective cap, install your low pressure line. Make sure you push it all the way down to the very bottom. And then you just click in your, your lock. And from here on out, basically all you're doing is reinstalling what you've already taken off.